Okay, so in this module, we are going to discover details on the ESP8266 is the low cost Wi Fi microchip. It looks like this, as shown in the figure, and it has a built in TCP IP networking software so that you can actually use it with the internet for your data reception and the data transmission. So it has a powerful microcontroller as well. Uh, and this chip or this development board is produced by a company called Espressive Systems is from China. And the name of the module is ESP8266. So uh, if you just uh, get try to put this number on the Google, you have such information. You can read about it on the Wikipedia. And uh, I have this number here and I have some details. So it's a low cost Wi-Fi microchip model that you can use and interface with Arduino. So Arduino Uno, for example, you use, it doesn't have Wi-Fi capacity. Uh, so this module, can be interfaced with the Arduino Uno to equip the Arduino Uno to have a Wi-Fi capability. And then you can also build little bigger systems so you can transmit your data and uh, to the cloud environment and you can use the mobile app to create the dashboards and monitor your data and all those things. So uh, this uh, Chip has the CPU. Uh, it is uh, produced by this company, Ten Silica, actually. And uh, manufacturer, as I said, it's this company, Espressive Systems. Uh, this has a memory of 32 kilobytes for instructions and 82 kilobytes for user data. And it operates on the power supply of 3.3 volt DC. And uh, then after that, we will take the information about its successors, that is ESP32. So ESP32 is a little bit advanced than ESP8266, but the current focus uh, is on this ESP8266. So let us try to gather some information about it by clicking the Wikipedia link. And we see that uh, this is how the chip looks like. So it has about, uh, uh, it has about three, three, six, and eight, and eight fours are 32 pins, actually. Uh, so it's a 32-bit microcontroller. Remember, if you compare with Arduino basic model, it's an eight-bit microcontroller. And now the evaluation in the microcontroller development boards are such that you have such a powerful microcontroller, such as 32-bit. And it's pretty low cost also. This module, uh, if you just go back and try to click the shopping right here, and if you want to shop it, uh, this module this is the first one node MCU. MCU stands for microcontroller and it is ESP8266 Wi Fi development board. So you just buy this uh, Wi Fi development boards in about uh, two or three dollars, it's uh, very inexpensive. Uh, that you can see that, okay? Uh, here also you have pretty cheap module. Uh, it is about serial Wi-Fi transceiver model. So it doesn't have probably the microcontroller, but it just have transmitter and receiver model. So it's just about one and a half dollars. So you can buy that. And now let's go back to Wikipedia, read about uh, some information. So here is the chip that you can see that as I said, it's a 32-bit microcontroller module. It has a memory about 32 kilobytes uh, and 82 kilobytes for instruction and data respectively. So there are 17 general purpose input-output pins uh, and its successor is ESP32. We'll see that in a moment. So here, uh, what this module, ESP01 module uh, looks like, you can see that. Uh, so it is a 32-bit RISC microprocessor architecture. So RISC stands for Reduce Instruction Set. Uh, 
instruction set computer uh, so that is risk and the standard the speed of it is 80 or 160 megahertz that's the speed here are the memory segments uh, ram uh, about uh, your instruction and the data and it has a flash memory up to 16 megabytes uh, for that now as i said it supports your wi-fi connection to the internet so you can connect your hardware to the internet uh, it has integrated switch balloon lna power amplifier and matching network all integrated in a single chip as shown right here next uh, just like in arduino you have spi interface you have i square c you have i square i square s and the UART, a universal asynchronous uh, receiver transmitter. So that's there. And it has 10 bit ADC, uh, which is successive approximation type. Uh, so this is as oppo opposed to your 8 bit ADC uh, with Arduino Uno. So this is the pinout for ESP01 model. This is the model that you, you can see here. And uh, you see that this is the wireframe drawing where the two chips have been placed here. And these are the pins, eight pins. And accordingly, these eight pins have been named. So the first one is a ground. So here you can't identify which pin is what. So come down, scroll down. And here you see that this is a pin out and the pins ground, ground two. Uh, then you have a receiver, transmitter, and uh, channel chip power down. CH is chip power down. And then you have VCC and the 3.3 volt. So and there is a pin called RST also. So all these pins have been given uh, where you can actually understand how this uh, board works and behaves. Here is the die of this uh, chip that I have shown you. So here is the silicon die and all the blocks have been integrated in this uh, chip. Uh, so this is the silicon chip. Now, how to program this chip? So let's say you have this chip and then you have this board in which you have the headers as shown and the pinouts are given and you want to program that. So there is a software needed. It's called a software development kit. So uh, this company, Expressive Systems, they have released this uh, kit uh, to program the chip directly. So, which removes the need for a separate microcontroller. So you basically can use this kit. And if you want an alternative to, uh, to, to program these uh, microcontrollers, so you can use the Arduino platform, which is Arduino IDE. You can just, uh, uh, with the Arduino software, you can just uh, program the ESP8 to 66 CPU and it's Wi Fi both. Uh, if you don't want to use Arduino, then you can use a ESP8266 basic. So it's an open source, uh, basic like interpreter, uh, specifically tailored for Internet of Things uh, applications. And there are many other uh, platforms that you can actually use. Uh, these are the softwares that you can use actually. For example, Node MCU is a low cost open source IoT platform. So you can actually use them all to program your microcontroller, which is uh, the ESP8266. So uh, now you can scroll down to see some variations of the base. You can see that the active pins of this uh, microcontroller and so many other details. And uh, there are some other details that you can explore yourself and uh, there are other boards also that you can explore yourself right here. Now you might wonder since this board and uh, this module has a Wi-Fi, it is Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller. So how does it connect to the internet? It needs an antenna. So here, this PCB truss is uh, nothing but an antenna of this module. So you can see that we can connect to the internet through this uh, PCB truss-based antenna. 
Now, if you watch, if you wish to get more details on this module, so you can simply check out the website of Espressive Systems. So you can see that uh, this is Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller, MCU stands for microcontroller. You can just click over here and the website opens up uh, that shows the hardware. This is the chip of this uh, microcontroller. Uh, which is cost effective and uh, Wi-Fi MCU and is widely used for developing IoT applications. So you can just scroll down and see its features about compactness, durability, how it saves the power and what is the capacity of this 32-bit uh, processor. So it is uh, operating up to the clock speed of 160 megahertz. So it's quite fast and uh, it is a 32-bit risk architecture. So there are products, so uh, you can scroll down. So there is a system on chip. This is the system on chip of this module. Uh, so that's the chip only. If you see the module, the module is what you have the board and on the board, this SOC system on chip is placed. And there are two types of modules supported as shown, you can click them and if you want the development kit you can just take the mouse over here and see how development kit looks like so you have this microcontroller you have the connector you have a usb port and there is a pcb dress that acts as an antenna so it depends what you want to if you scroll down a bit more so there is an option about choosing the esp product that you can do you can also buy from the vendor itself uh, you can just click the gate sample ordering information and all those things so uh, that is all about uh, this one so let's say you click on the module here and uh, it you can click the first option and it opens up pdf the data sheet of these two models that is esp room uh, 0 to d and esp room 0 to u so you scroll down and see that uh, what information you can get from this guide. So just scroll down and you here you see the table of contents about CPU, memory, uh, oscillator, then you have electrical characteristics, how about Wi-Fi radio, about power consumption, you can know details on that. Then you can check the schematic of this board. Uh, then dimensions, then PCB details are given here. The scroll down a bit more and uh, there is a detail about an overview about all these uh, different variations here. So here onboard antenna is given for these modules and then there is an IPEX antenna for the remaining modules here. There is in package flash memory about 2 mega bytes up to 16 megabytes for the first processors and then similarly for this that shows the size of each of these uh, modules remember we have clicked the modules not the soc or the development kit so you sc further scroll down and uh, what other details you can see that's the wi-fi protocol you can see the specification. So it is a high internet IEEE standard that it follows. The frequency range for the Wi-Fi is uh, from 2.4 gigahertz up to 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, in megahertz, you can convert that. The peripheral interfaces, that is UART, HSPI, I2C, IR remote control also can be supported. It has, uh, just like Arduino, you have a general purpose input output and pulse width modulated output possibility. And the operating voltage for this module of ESP is from 2.7 volt to 3.6 volts. So you scroll down further, here is the details about hardware. It has operating current of about 80 milliampere. Minimum current delivered by the power supply is, is, is uh, 0.5 ampere actually. And uh, there is a Wi-Fi mode here. And there are some security details, software developments and all other things that you can see. A network protocol, it follows for internet connection is also given. 
scroll down further and you see the pin diagram pin description so in this portion when you see the module you will see that there is a pcb antenna will be placed over here and there are then total about uh, 18 pins for this uh, one and the 19 pin which is ground is at the center so that is the pcb pin pin description for esp room 0 2D pin layout. So top view shows that first pin is 3.3 volt and then IO14, IO0 to IO14, you have input output pins, then there is a ground, there is a transmitter and receiver pin also, there's a reset pin given to this microcontroller. So you can scroll down further and see the functional description of this pin. So 3.3 volt is the power supply. It is recommended that the maximum output current a power supply provides be of 500 milliampere or above. So that's the maximum output current a power supply provides. Then that's the EN stands for chip enable pin. It should be tied to logic high that makes the device active high. Then you have some other details about the pins. So when you actually use it as a hardware and program it, you need to know the details of all these pins. So I'm not going to take you in the details of each of these pins. So further scroll down and you see the functional description of each of the blocks. So central processing unit is 32-bit RISC processor and uh, it's it features low power consumption has a maximum speed of 160 megahertz it uses the real time operating system that is rtos and wi-fi also is enabled and uh, cpu includes the interfaces such as uh, programmable ram rom and uh, which can be connected to the memory controller and they can be also used as uh, to visit the flash. Then it has a data RAM interface uh, which can be connected with the memory controller and so on. Let's have a look at memory which is internal SRAM and ROM. So RAM size is uh, less than 50K. You can see and read about yourself uh, how it is divided between instructions and the data. Then you have a flash uh, memory up to 16 megabytes and uh, that you can see that. Uh, of course, you need a crystal oscillator to synchronize the operation of all the blocks uh, with respect to a reference clock. So it uses that and you, here is the information about how the capacitor can be connected uh, along with the crystal to provide the clock to the module. Here is a description about interface, uh, how all these interfaces, that is ADC, infrared, PWM, all these things uh, can be done. So you can explore it uh, yourself. There are some details about electrical characteristics, about the maximum and minimum voltages uh, that you can have. So it's all information about digital logic. Here is the information about Wi-Fi radio. So it shows that the maximum frequency is about 2.5 gigahertz. And the power amplifier output is uh, given right here in the DBM. And you can check it out. Similarly, there are some other details about 6 Mbps, uh, 54 Mbps, and all those details are given. The power consumption details are then given about in different modes, whether it is uh, on or sleep mode and power off, how much current will be drawn by the board. So there is some information about uh, the electrostatic discharge. Here is the schematic of the board. So you see there is a chip right here and some other components have been placed alongside this uh, microcontroller unit. And uh, then that's the second page uh, that you can use. So that is for zero to U and up is for zero to D. So there are two variations here. Here is the peripheral schematic about uh, how you actually can uh, uh, 
connect the peripherals with the modules. These are some dimension details that you can see. And then that there comes the recommended PC VLAN pattern. So you can see that if you want to build a PCB using this chip. So these are the dimensions and recommended PCB length pattern that as a PCB designer, you need to follow. And then some uh, information about product handling. You have some uh, learning resources about uh, instruction guide and all those things. So that was all about uh, your ESP module data sheet where you can extract maximum information. Now let me take you to the development kit using ESP8266. So you need to click over here and then there are two options. So here is the kit, we click here and it opens up the getting started guide for this development kit. So you just scroll down and we see what information it contains. So the table of, table of content shows that uh, you have hardware preparation, how to prepare software, how to download the firmware, and there are both dimension details are given and some other information. So scroll down. So as I said, this uh, development kit is a small sized uh, development board produced by the company Espressif. And uh, it says that all of the input output pins of the module are broken out to the female pin headers on both sides of the board for either easy interfacing. So you actually developers can connect these pins to the peripherals as needed. Okay, so this board supports various types of ESP8266 models. So you can just connect all other modules with these boards. Uh, including 0 to the ESP room and ESP room 0 to U. So we just saw these details of these two models uh, in a for a while in a while ago. And uh, we we can see that uh, for these two development kits, you have these two modules on the board right here. So now let's scroll down and see what this board contains uh as a, as a development platform so here you see that this segment or uh, this uh, is called as dial switch there is a boot button given over here there is a micro usb port which you can connect it uh, the usb can be connected and you can interface it with your computer this is an enable button and here is your uh, module that is ESP room 02D or ESP room 02U. So one of these modules can be connected here. These two headers, one and these two bottom and the top, they are called input output connectors. Here is your regulator, which is 5 volt to 3.3 volt constant supply voltage provider to the board and its peripheral. This is USB to UART bridge. So it's basically used for interfacing protocol. So low, low dropout regulator uh, is there to provide the power supply for this uh, module ESP8266 and other users peripherals. The dial switch is given uh, for switching between auto download or flow control. So when you are developing an application, you will know the details about that. Then what is this USB to UART bridge? So this block provides up to uh, three MPBS transfer rates. So when you transfer the data from this development board or module to the outside world, then the data maximum transfer data rate is three MPBS. Okay, so that's how uh, we can see that. So some other functions here, such as boot button. So download button is called as boot button. So if you hold down this boot button and press enable button, that initiates your firmware download mode. So this, uh, the user can then download his or her firmware through the serial port. Then there is a micro USB port uh, that enables to connect your board to the computer and it also 
uh, used to provide power supply to your ESP board. Then there is an enable button. So it's just a reset button. Pressing this button will reset your system. And there are input output connectors on this module, uh, which are the female pin headers on the board. And you can, uh, user can program the ESP uh, 8266 to enable multiple functions. Okay, so you are recommended to read the data sheet uh, as highlighted over here. So that was about the board description, various uh, modules, various uh, blocks. So we continue our discussion with this Wi-Fi module, uh, ESP8266 for megabyte flash. So there is a website Spark Fun Electronics. You can just click over here and uh, get more details about how to, how to buy this module. So just to conclude this talk, uh, you can see that the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is a self-contained system on chip with integrated internet protocol called as TCP IC. And use of this Wi-Fi module is to give any microcontroller access to your Wi-Fi network. So have a look at these pictures, uh, how it looks like from the top view. This PCB dress acts as an antenna for your Wi-Fi connections. These are the pins and uh, this is the module of this uh, microcontroller. And uh, this, is the, this is the back side and the pin are labeled. And then that's how the size of this, uh, it's about one uh, quarter dollar size uh, of this board is. So with this, you know what this module is about. So remember, you can hook it up this device uh, with your Arduino to make it Wi-Fi enabled Arduino. And final note of this, remember the supply requirement for this is 3.3 volts. So you do not power your, this device with the five volt supply. Do not power it with the five volt supply to save the damage. So now the question is, is it available on Amazon? Uh, yes, uh, you can see that on the internet. Uh, you can simply click right here and it takes you to the Amazon website and opens up a whole range of uh, variations for this uh, Node MCU ESP8266 microcontroller Wi-Fi module. And uh, you can see the prices are given. Uh, you can actually choose what kind of board you are looking for. And there are so many other variations. So just read the specifications and accordingly order it.